What was the point of the movie? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Hey guys. Hello. So today we're reviewing Hummingbird, also known as Redemption, and it stars Jason Statham and a bunch of nobodies. Um, so we start off looking at uh, some war clips or whatever, battlefield clips. Turns out that the character that Jason Statham plays is um, a war hero or whatever turned homeless bum. And he gets bashed at the beginning. And then he... So it's not your typical Jason Statham, he's got the long hair, he's a junkie living on the streets. And then... But that was for two minutes, because yeah. he shaved it all off, and then he was wearing suits again, and he was bashing people up. Back and to being Jason Statham. That was the movie, really. Mm. So the main plot is that he is an angel in disguise, because he gets a... Dirty job with the Asian Mafia type of people. And um, he's going around hitting people up for money. But at the same time, he's connected with the church mission where he is trying to help find the killer of this girl that he used to hang out with. Yeah. And he uses his money to buy them pizzas and duck. Yeah. So he does good deeds along with the bad deeds. Apparently he only did it for a summer because he, he broke into a gay man's house. And I found this interesting. The gay man is actually this old, frail, pretty much close to the Dutch type of guy. And um, he's like this short. Jason Statham is like this high. <laughs> this high. This tall. And um, he's wearing the same suits and shit from this... Frail Asian, Asian, this frail old guy. And How do you know he's frail? He didn't look frail. At the end, he, he came look frail. in. Oh, he looked like he was about to die. So anyone over the age of fifty is just ready to die. Closer to death. Closer to death than I am. Mm. Closer to. Death. So people say it's not a typical Jason Statham movie. It's got like a lot more plot to it. It's not just all the action, choppy suey shit. And yeah, he did cry in one scene, didn't he? Or at least attempt to. But other than that, I thought it was just the usual Jason Statham bashing the shit out of everyone. Mm. It was nice to see him actually smile at one scene where it was forced. It was awkward. It was an awkward was. smile. Um, but yeah, usually he's very angry and bashing people up and on the run. Mm -hmm. And there's also like a side story about him. He's estranged from his wife and daughter after the, um, the war. And he gives them money to help them out now that he's, you know, earning the big bucks with the the Japanese Mafia, but why doesn't he go back? Why doesn't he start the family again? I didn't get why he didn't. Because he's on the run. Oh, that's right. I think he c committed a crime while he was in the army. I think he went AWOL. Did he go AWOL or something? I, I think know. he just didn't follow orders. Yeah. Um, and that's... That's right, he killed the five in revenge, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see the point of having the, the wife and the daughter plot because... There was really nothing to it. I think it was supposed to add more, more character, emotional depth to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyways, what would you give it out of um, a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Uh, I thought it was all right. There was a bit slow at the start. Very slow at the start. Yeah. Once he got into his Jason Statham mode, I think it was wasn't too bad. The baddie though, what did you think? So his his. Had a friend, his junkie friend, got murdered by this guy who likes to beat up prostitutes and then kill them. But he's hardly in it, was he? Mm. But he was like the main bad guy of the movie. And They should have had more of him. Yeah, they should have. And really, what was the point of the movie? <laughs> I have no idea. Because the, the whole plot of him looking for the bad guy was maybe like 5% of the movie. The rest mm. was just him doing good things with the, the nun. Anyways, um, and then at the end, when he killed the bad guy, it was like, done in two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Over. But yeah, I didn't hate it. It was alright. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up too. So that's it. Have you guys seen it? What did you think? Let us know. Comment down below. And catch us next time.
Bye.